Hello, and welcome to volume 349. I'm Mark Graves, just a regular guy fighting prostate cancer, and I'm glad to have you along for the ride. This is, uh, let's see, Monday. Um, oh, in fact, Monday. Dolphins are playing tonight, taking on the Tennessee Titans. Got my watch on, got my shirt on, my hoodie's down. The, I should have worn my hoodie. It's down the, the hallway. Anyways, I don't know. I, we'll see how it goes tonight. I don't want to jinx anything, but man, I need a quarterback that's not going to keep throwing his head into other players because it never never turns out well for him. But anyways, let's get some, some channel stuff out of the way. First of all, thank you very much. I know a bunch of you are doing the thumbs up thing on there, and I totally appreciate that. Uh, just in case you didn't know, every time you hit the thumbs up on there or you comment, or you subscribe, or you uh, share the channel, it builds the algorithm on here so more guys can find it. And I appreciate that. In fact, so many people have found it so far. I just looked at the uh, analytics before I started this video, 604. We broke 600 people following this channel. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate that. I, I really do. Um, okay, so a couple things to get out of the way. Prayers for the people in Florida and North Carolina. I just talked to Lee this morning, who lives in Florida, uh, close to uh, Tampa Bay, where they've had the big surge down there. And I got to be honest with you, I, I don't watch the news. I don't pay attention to it. I guess this all started last Thursday. I just found out about it this morning. So I gave him a call just to make sure he was okay. They lost power for a few days, but it looks like um, things are going to be all right. And uh, he said he talked to Indio. Indio's good. Uh, same thing. They lost power for a couple of days. I guess the yards are messed up from, you know, stuff getting blown in. But uh, boy, so many, over 100 people uh, dead, um, thousands homeless, uh, just the, the surge eight feet deep coming up on the coastline there. It's just, it's unfathomable. Um, and the, the weird part is he was telling me that the storm was 100 miles off the coast. Can you imagine if that had hit land? So uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, man, huge prayers for all the people down there that they find a way to get through this. Um, so many of them just lost everything that they have. Um, so keep them in your prayers if you would. Uh, I made notes just so I wouldn't forget. Um, let me give you a quick synopsis from Saturday night when I went to bed until now. Uh, went to bed Saturday night, wasn't feeling great. Uh, really didn't feel good last week. Um, had a fishing trip scheduled. I was supposed to leave Thursday morning really early and go there with my buddy Scott now and a friend of Scott's up to um, Intake 2 in the Sierras. I was really looking forward to it. It's going to be great. We'll be out camping, um, you know, having a great time hanging with the guys and fishing. It would be my first fishing trip to be able to go, and I could not make it. I mean, the, the pain was just too much. It's been getting ridiculous. Um, so, and then on top of that, just, you know, bought regular old body aches. Didn't feel that great. So I bailed on the trip. Uh, come Saturday night, went to bed, and I knew I had to get up really early Sunday morning. My men's group, my rooted group at Mariner's Church, uh, the guys we were going to be meeting down at the beach and having a prayer experience before Sunday service. And whenever I got to get up, I don't know what it is with me and alarm clocks now, but anytime I set that alarm and I'm going to get up, I have the hardest time going to sleep or staying asleep. It's like my subconscious thinks I'm going to miss, I'm going to oversleep or whatever. I don't know. So anyways, was uncomfortable, had a lot of pain in my abdomen, and I wasn't sure what that was all about. So like one o'clock in the morning, I wake up and I go, man, I feel like I might be able to TMI, might be able to, you know, use the restroom, uh, you know, for number two. Anyways, that didn't happen. And when I stood up, I looked down like, Blink, and there's my catheter on the floor, my super catheter. And the balloon is still intact. So I have no idea how that came out. I know I was working on my truck. I was underneath my truck on Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Um, and I, I got in some strange positions. Maybe I pulled it without knowing. I don't know. Anyways, it fell off. And so I figured out that's what was the abdomen pain was the balloon getting stuck in the hole. So, you know, balloon this big, a hole this big, you know, the side. So, that has to pull pretty good to get through there. And I went and woke Kelly up and said, would you mind taking me to the ER? So she did. So I went to the ER. Um, they were super, super nice. Brenda, my doctor there was amazing. She was so much fun. 
And I apologize, I do not remember my nurse's name. He was a crack up, he was great. Got me the warm blanket. I tell you, there's few things in this world that are as awesome as a warm blanket when you're laying in the hospital. They are fantastic. So uh, got that all changed out, got everything done. Uh, Kelly drove me home, we got back to bed probably about 3.30 in the morning. Alarm was set for 4.30. So I went to sleep and I was so out of it when that alarm went off. I had no idea where I was, who I was, what I was doing. Uh, but made it down to the beach, uh, met the guys down there. We had a great uh, prayer session down there. It was awesome. Uh, we had been doing a, a fast, so we broke our fast down there. With uh, had some fruit and some uh, muffins and that kind of stuff, and then headed to church for the eight thirty. And then after the service, um, my buddy Scott got baptized. Hallelujah! And it, it was gorgeous. And on top of getting baptized, literally ten minutes before he got dunked, he got the text. And the picture, his daughter had been in the hospital overnight. She was having a really long labor for her first child. And so his he became a grandpa like 10 minutes before I got baptized. So I don't think it's going to be any problem for him remembering this day. So anyways, that was fantastic. It was awesome. Um, came home, slept quite a bit, and then uh, got up this morning and just had a list of things I had to get done. Um, so... Made a protein shake last night before I went to bed so that I could have it this morning. I had started physical therapy, so I thought, well, I'll get up in the morning. I'll have my protein shake. Completely forgot it was in the refrigerator. Uh, took a shower, got all ready, went to uh, physical therapy, which I'm starting for the pain. Um, oh, and I just had the word in my head, and now it's gone. But anyways, uh, the nerves are getting dragged over the arthritis that's inside of my spine. So good news, they're not ruptured. Um, it's uh, degenerative disc disease and they're inflamed, but they're not ruptured. So we should be able to fix it through uh, physical therapy, building up the muscles around my spine, my core, my back. Uh, we should be able to do that. So I started that today, did the intake, uh, came home. And as much as I hate Amazon, literally three hours ago, I ordered these, uh, straps and you uh you put your feet through them and then you use them to pull for resistance for some of the exercises that i'm going to be doing and then um technology is amazing so and now i have an app that i downloaded i don't know eh, it's kind of hard to see um but it has my workout on there so stephanie my uh, therapist types it all in and i just log in so now every day it tells me what to do and how many times I got to do it. So I thought that was pretty awesome. So I'll get started on that. I have I have high hopes that it's going to work. Um, I'm going to be so happy to, to get rid of the pain. Um, I apologize. This is eight minutes already into the video. I did not intend it to be this long. I swear, less than 10 minutes. I'm going to get out of here. Um, 10 minutes total. So um, I've been having too many days where I'm not a nice person. I have a really high pain tolerance, I always have, but I've kind of reached my limit with this and it just gets annoying after a while. Uh, chronic pain, man, it just, so I'm, I, there are days where I'm just not my happy self, things bother me, I get angry at things too quickly. So I'm looking forward to the, the pain level dropping so that I don't have to have that on my plate to have to deal with. I like being a happy guy, I like, I like being joyful. So I'm looking forward to being able to do that again. Um, Okay, so took care of that, came home, uh, had some other uh, things that I had to take care of, paperwork to do, insurance forms to fill out, and then uh, needed to do some returns for Amazon. So jumped in the truck, headed over. Oh, I had to go get my teeth cleaned. I went and saw my dentist and got my every six months teeth cleaning. He said everything looks great um, and did a real quick job on it. There wasn't a lot to do, which I was extremely happy about. They did x-rays, doc came in, he goes, man, he goes, everything looks fine. He goes open wide, he looks in there, he goes, yeah, you're good, see you in six months. So I was happy about that. Then ran to the Amazon Fresh store, which is uh, not too far from my house, went into return stuff, um, took care of that. While I was in there, uh, the air conditioning was up really high and it dries my eyes out. I wear contact lenses. And so a cardinal rule for those of you who wear contact lenses, uh, got 15 seconds, you know not to rub them, right? So I rubbed it, boom, contact lens floating in there somewhere. So I couldn't find it. Had to wait till I got home. I'm in there digging around, uh, trying to get up there. Finally was able to wash it out with the uh, the, the solution, 
put it there, popped out, got the new one in. Anyways, that took me to just a hair over 10 seconds. I really apologize for that. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this channel. Uh, 604 people subscribe to the channel now. I will try and get a video out as quickly as I can. Please don't forget ever that I love you. I thank you so much for watching these videos that I post up here. Because trust me, I'm sure you got better things to do. But I love you all. Uh, thank you for the, the prayers, the positive energy, the good thoughts, the aloha, the shaka, the, the good juju, everything you guys are sending my way, and I'm going to bounce it right back at you. Oh, I, I just, I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video.